Hey, 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 everybody, Wuju here. Uh, time for a long overdue medic mail day. Uh, I got quite a bit of stuff to do uh, before I head out for the day. Um, got a piece from Panini. Got uh, my secret Santa gift from Blowout. I'm going to have to open it a little soon because I'm not going to have time probably tonight or tomorrow. And over Christmas, so uh, opening it a little sooner. We're allowed tonight, so that's close enough. And so uh, a new Hall of Famer and some upgrades and whatnot. Uh, we'll start out with the piece from Panini. Uh, kind of a bad time to get this guy. Um, I actually won this though from their uh, Thanksgiving um, promo that they were doing. Uh, I guess the players of the game. Um, but yeah, like I said, bad time to get him, but at least it's on a different helmet. Um, the Mark Sanchez. But like I said, at least it's on his USC helmet, and I know there's still a lot of USC collectors. Uh, there's the Panini sticker right there. So, that is available if anybody is interested. I'm sure I'm going to get the offers for like 50 cents and whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably end up selling that because I really have no interest in Mark Sanchez, whether he even succeeds or anything like that. But, uh, so anyhow, next, the, uh, blow up Secret Santa. Uh,. Let's see. Of course, I mentioned the uh, Steelers collector and, of course, Hall of Fame and whatnot. So I already see some nice stuff right off the bat, actually, that I'm very happy with. Um, first, right off the bat, didn't have one of these. Very nice condition, actually. This is from Topps Chrome. Regular version. Rookie. Or not rookie. Yeah. Oh, it's a rookie, but not autographed. It's about ready to say autograph. Rookie of Ben Roethlisberger. Did not have that rookie, so... Very nice. That's definitely going in the PC. Oh, very nice package. Um, next, rookie autograph. Did not have his autograph yet. Uh, contenders on card. Jonathan Dwyer. Very happy with this package already. Uh, then I got the Bowman Sterling jersey, not numbered. Jonathan Dwyer, rookie. Ah, okay, that, that works. That's my third autograph of him that's going to be in this mail day. Uh, new generation from 12 certified. Rookie Auto 250 Chris Rainey. And then a... This is from... This is one of the die cuts from Topps, actually. These are actually pretty nice. First time I've seen one of these in person. And quite a nice one to have, too. Mr. Jerry Rice, which his record just got broken yesterday, so... But still one of the best wide receivers to ever play the game. So, uh, big thank you to my blowout uh, cards, uh, Secret Sam. That's a very nice package. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. Uh, I'll be scanning those in here probably later tonight if I get the shot. If not, it'll probably be the 26th or something like that. I'll be out of town the 27th, 28th. So, uh, moving right along because I've still got quite a bit to show here. Uh, this one I picked up. Just to have another autograph of him. You can never have enough autographs of this Hall of Famer, at least for me. This is from 07 SP Legendary Cuts, quotation cuts 19 out of 25, Mr. Willie Pops Stargell. That's, uh, I think, my fourth autograph of him. Three of them are cards and one's the 8x10 I got from Steiner, so uh, very happy about that. Next, this next little lot, um, this first card I've already posted up on eBay just before I did this video. Uh, the other two are kind of PC, one I might send in to get graded or I might sell it, I'm not sure yet. And the last one is absolute PC that I'm sending in to get graded, praying it comes back 9.5. We'll see. Uh, the one card I'm selling already on eBay is from 2011 certified. It's the, I don't know if it's a platinum or blue or whatever the heck it is. Uh, new generation autograph 11 out of 25, Greg McElroy. Should have posted that a few days ago, but uh, just had the chance to this morning. And as I mentioned, this is my that was the third autograph in this mail day of this player. Uh, the first one that I have here is the Topps Chrome Refractor Auto, one out of 178, Chris Rainey. I just realized, there's a thing on here, it's what, 22 is his jersey number? Yeah, 22 on there, but on here, probably just from his uh, workout, it's 24, but it's 24 out of 178. So Chris Rainey there. And then a very nice one, like I said, this is all bought part of a lot, the uh, Greg McElroy and the Rainies in the last card out of this little section here. This is 8 out of 10, Gold Refractor Autograph, Chris Rainey. And it looks pretty great. Well, the autograph has a little skip in there, but so the other one, I don't know if that's normal for his autograph, whether they're gonna, they would ding it for that. 
I'd have to do a little bit more research before I absolutely consider grading it. Sorry about the sun glaring over my head here. Uh, wait for my there's my monitor. Okay. Um, and this one, this is actually the second one of this I got. So the other one is for sale. I might send it to get graded too, even though it'll probably come back at best at nine. Uh, it's from 2003 Playoff Contenders. This one I think has a fair shot at reaching what I want. It's, it'd be hard, but I'm I'd be praying. Um, 2003 Playoff Contenders Rookie Autograph out of 989 because even the back's pretty nice except for one corner is a little white so that might ding it down to a 9 but if everything else is good uh, the autograph's absolutely a 10 from what I could yeah it's 10 Troy Palomalu so paid a lot less for this one than I did the other one sadly but uh yeah so that's my second one of that that one I'm absolutely sending to get graded. Praying comes back at 9.5. If not, it's at least a 9, which would be still more worth more than what I pay and what I put into grading. So next, uh, I got some upgrades and some extras. Uh, the first part here is uh, two cards that are basically extras. They just sold in with a lot of the card that I wanted. Uh, it's all from Leaf. Best of football. Uh, I have a Larry Little. For the Miami Dolphins, that's an extra. Y.A. Tittle, this is, I'm not sure which team he's with in that, probably the 49ers again. If not, it's the Giants. And the big one that I wanted, um, I already had his autograph on the Ron Mix art cards. Ah, get that sun out of the way so you can actually see. Um, it's the 101 actual sketch card with the sticker auto on it of Mr. Bob St. Clair. So, I had his autograph already, so this is an upgrade. I thought that was actually pretty cool to get the one on one sketch card. You can actually see the indentations into where like they sketched it and all that, so there's even some sketch cards that are color, but uh I don't care, it's a pretty cool card, I think. Just my opinion. It's going into the PC for sure. Uh then this next one is an upgrade. This is from the two thousand twelve Legends Hall of Fame edition, twenty six out of thirty five, Nick Bionaconti. Uh, I've had that one for a while, actually, been meaning to show it. I was waiting for one with the Hall of Fame inscription like I got here. Uh, so, but finally upgraded him. And a nice one, I've been trying to get a two-color of him for a while, even though his autographs are pretty cheap normally. His two colors tend to send, sell pretty well. This is from 2011 Playoff National Treasures. It says 12 on the back, but it's 11. 12 out of 15, two color patch autograph of Jim Double O Auto. So there's a nice little Jim Auto upgrade. Done with him finally. Don't need to upgrade anymore because it's all black and silver. Uh, finally, num Hall of Famer number 247 or 6. 246. Um, 247 is incoming, which that'll be in the next video, which will probably be by itself. Um, well worth watching. A very rare Hall of Famer that I got for a fair price, I think. Um, anyhow, this one, kind of a hand me down from one of my uh, friends over on Blowout. Um, basically, he sells me some of the extras he's got that I still need. Uh, not the most beautiful cut in the world, but he's pretty much listed the top 25 hardest Hall of Famers to get, um, which I'm down to that point where that's about all I've got left. Excuse me. Other than the new inductees, I still need um, Cortez Kennedy. I still need Chris Dolman, and I still need Jack Butler. Butler being my number one goal. Um, Panini said they are putting out because when I was emailing them back and forth about the helmet, um, they said they are releasing the ones that they had in the past years. Just they haven't said when or where yet. So. I might have to buy one of the promo ones just to ensure that I have a butler in case something happens to him, which I pray not, but uh, just in case. Um, anyhow, back to the, what I came to do, show the uh, Hall of Famer number 246, PSA DNA certified, cut autograph of Mr. John Patty Driscoll. Like I said, not the most beautiful cut autograph in the world, neither is the other one that's going to be coming in, but you know what? When you get to the guys that are in the top 25 hardest to find, you take what you can get. Trust me. And then you upgrade as you find them. And then you can sell these and recoup a little bit of money. So, yeah, so not a little bit. That's actually a fair amount of money, even just for that cut autograph. His stuff sells very well. So, 
Yeah, I'm down to needing 20, hang on, let's see, 273 minus 247. Down to 26 autographs left for the NFL Hall of Fame collection. That's all I need. Of course, there's quite a few now that are going to be a couple thousand dollars, so that's a little bit out of my price range at the moment. Um, I'll be on down the line once I uh, can sell a few things and save a little money up for them. Be like a once a year thing other than a new inductee, so that should do it. Uh, end up being a pretty long video, but uh, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, again, big thanks to my uh, blow up forums, uh, Secret Santa. Did have another card, but I'm sending it back because the corner ended up being pretty dinged up. Guy already said that's fine, send it back. I might be buying more from him, I don't know yet. We'll see. There's some stuff that I want uh, that he's got listed. Nothing new, just upgrades. So, yeah, that's it for today, folks. Um, so, the Gray McElroy's on uh, eBay right now under Percussionist. Um, some Magic the Gathering cards if anybody collects them. Mostly older stuff. And, yeah, so I've got to get ready to head out for the day. That's all I folks. Thanks for watching.